that's coming. And what we found, we did a, a survey in the magazine, so you, you, it, it is skewed towards uh, people that, that do use the internet fairly regularly. And 67% of um, small businesses are concerned by the uncertain economy. You'd expect that as a result. But interestingly, 54% saw it as an opportunity to grow their business. So within that chaotic, um, this chaotic period that we're in, small business says we've got a, a chance to grow. How are they going to grow? You know, how, how do you grow your business? How are those 54%, uh, what will they do to, to uh, change the way they operate, to expand, grow, um, and, um, and make their businesses more profitable? And, uh, and I tend to think that technology, in this case, is most definitely the key. So when we, we questioned in the survey, these are the results we got. And I think that the, um, uh, the last one, that 48% are considering cloud-based, uh, integrating cloud-based technology into their business is, is really important. Um, and 59% see uh, s social tools as an important part of business operations in the future. So uh, these are, these are uh, really, we thought, really interesting results that even though um, the majority of businesses are unsettled by, or small businesses, are unsettled by um, the uh, economic climate, uh, they, they still want to invest in their business uh, and, um, and bring new uh, elements in, into play. I think one of the things that we, we miss, uh, and <laughs> it's something we've had to really think about in our business, um, is generational change. There, there is no question, there's a huge amount of generational change. Uh, we're looking at the, um, the digital natives or the millennials. Uh, that they have a com completely different outlook. Uh, I, I did a workshop with a, a group um, that you could describe as Gen Zs, I guess. Um, and uh, I, I kind of felt like the use by date was, uh, was burning through on my forehead because um, they really have a different perspective, a different dynamic. The paradigm is, is totally different. They've grown up embedded in this, in this technology. Uh, and um, we, we see that each of the generations um, are very different to the, the dominant generation uh, that is now called the, the baby boomer generation. And, um, and really, the baby, baby boomers are having to let go um, we're seeing uh, baby boomers moving into retirement uh, and uh, Gen X uh, virtually taking over. Although um, uh, last month Nielsen identified a completely new gen, uh, Generation C, um, and the C stands for connected. Uh, so the interesting thing about this was that while we've used age demographics uh, with all the other generations, uh, suddenly we've got Nielsen telling us that it, that it actually works differently. Um, forget age, it could be 60 to 80 um, if you wanted to put an age on, on, on it, but it, it's the, uh, anyone that's using a connected device, uh, and that's more and more of us. Um, more than half the world's population has a, a, a mobile phone, um, and around 30% of the, the world's population has a, a smartphone. Uh, smartphones are completely outselling all other varieties of phone. Um, I'm, I'm reticent to call them dumb phones. Um, but this connected, uh, connected generation um, is acting differently. This third of the world's population um, is, is really acting quite, uh, quite differently in terms of uh, the traditional generations. And, and probably the, the key factor, like I started, started with at the beginning, the key factor that, uh, that is uh, impacting on business is uh, social media. And, and a lot of businesses are seeing this as um, the, the advent of a, of a, a period where um, the internet gets really organised in terms of small businesses' ability uh, to contact a huge uh, number of um, of potential customers. So uh, we, we are seeing uh, quite a bit of change with social media. Now some of you may have seen, uh, uh, seen, seen this video 
Um, but I think, I think it really re-emphasises the point about where social media is going. interesting statistic that uh, the return on investment in um, uh, social media means you'll be in business in five years time. So social media is about joining a, a conversation, a, a conversation with your customers or your clients uh, and it, it is an important element but I, I think the key thing that you have to think about uh, if you are considering social media for your business and, and this is what I've found um, a lot of businesses don't consider and that's uh, the need to plan. I mean, this is not just a, a freebie. Uh, this is something that you have to think about. It's an, an add-on to your business. If you were a high street store, it, it'd be like opening another branch, a branch of your shop. Uh, so planning is a, is a key element. Uh, putting a strategy together, having a, a clear plan of where you're going and how this is going to work, who your target market is, how you're going to address that target market. Um, from there, we need, um, uh, you, you need to understand that uh, <coughs> as with opening a store, there's risk involved. Um, and some of the risks, I, I think, people don't consider. Uh, and, and the key one is that if, if you are doing this, if you are moving to social media as an add-on to your business or moving your whole business into social media, it's going to take time. And we established earlier, time is money for small business. So um, whether it's your time or you're paying someone to, to build the, um, the, the model for you, uh, it, it is going to take time. And uh, as I said, time is, is money. The other element that I think is, is really important is you, you do need, I know this looks like it's done on the back of an envelope, but what you, you, you've got to think about is, uh, is putting that action plan together, the strategy of how you're going to uh, address social media in your business. It, it is such a critical, uh, a critical part that you need to take because uh, I'm now talking to people that have um, that rushed at social media, didn't really put a, an action plan together, didn't put a business plan together, didn't have a marketing 
and marketing plan didn't have a concept of, of who their customer was uh, and um, they're, they're kind of paying, um, paying for it now because uh, it, it's not working for their business as uh, they thought it would. Um, when it does work, I know that I've kind of sounded fairly negative for the last, last few minutes, but when it does work, uh, it, it really can make a difference to your business. Uh, and um, there are plenty of examples of, of how it works. And, and the, the, the key thing, I think, is to learn from uh, other companies, perhaps in other parts of the world, that may have a different structure to the one you're going to implement. Uh, but they, they do have, um, uh, they do have, or they have had success. They, they have built the, uh, the business properly. Uh, and learning from them is, uh, is, is I think, important. Um, the other thing is using it as a, um, a customer for customer service uh, because you can get terrific feedback. You can also get quite negative feedback and you've got to have a policy on how you handle that. Um, I, I've um, I had to make a connection, uh, fly United from Vegas to, uh, to uh, LA uh, to, to get the flight home after the consumer electronics show. Um, and the customer service element really came to the, to the fore. Um, <coughs> uh, uh, I, I, I really hate flying United. Um, I always, always find the flights are delayed, uh, the, um, you're offloaded, they overbook the flights. Um, anyway, I, uh, I got to the airport and um, I, I was getting a uh, four o'clock in the afternoon flight to, it's a half an hour flight, uh, and, and of course I got to the airport and it had been, um, it had been cancelled, the flight had, been, uh, had just been cancelled, uh, and I tweeted that, um, uh, this is just so typical of United, uh, that uh, I've got a connection to make and uh, they, they, they've got all the other flights are full, and it was a nightmare. Um, so I made, it, made the, um, the uh, the woman at the desk uh, aware that I had a connection to make. Um, within about a minute, maybe a minute and a half, um, a, a, um, someone from United, a woman from United, came up and tapped me on the shoulder and said, are you people seen? I said, yes. She said, um, you've got a connection with the Qantas flight. I said, yes, I do. Uh, she said, um, come with me, we'll get you onto um, another airline. And, uh, and they actually got me onto American Airlines uh, and we'll get you there in time for your connection. Um, she inquired where my luggage was. Obviously, United had it and I thought I'd never see it again. Um, but uh, it, 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 it followed me um, through. So it's customer service, that, uh, that ability to... Um, and I, I was being kind of fairly ferocious about United because it wasn't the first time it's happened to me. Um, but you've got to think about it. Uh, it, it can be a really positive, um, I, I've got to say, I, I left uh, Vegas thinking, you know, United went out of their way to ensure that, uh, that I made it to, to my flight. And they, uh, you know, on, on past experience, they actually, um, uh, they, they've never done that before, but obviously they've lifted their game. So the ability to build trust in your business online is, uh, is certainly something that, uh, uh, you, you can do with social media um, and it gives you that direct contact with customers. So built properly, uh, run properly and, um, and, and I should put designed at the beginning, designed properly um, is really the, the, the